So you spend a long time creating videos. You've got to script a video, you've got to set your studio up, you've got to actually create the video. I don't know how many times it takes you to create the video. To take one, take 20, take 22, take 50. I don't know. I know what I'm like, but I don't know what you're like. And then you've got to edit the video, you've got to upload it, and then you've got to obviously generate traffic towards the video. So you want to make sure that at the end of the video, you're actually giving your audience some kind of a call to action to ask them to do something. So what would you ask them to do? Well, you can ask them to subscribe to your channel. You can ask them to um, enter a lead magnet or a free giveaway that you're offering them, either a free video course or maybe an ebook uh, that they can download, register to podcasts, whatever it is that you're doing. So you're going to make sure that you give them a call to action. Now in a video, usually what you would do is you say on the right hand side or underneath the video inside the description box, you'll see a link through to my free giveaway. Now underneath the video on YouTube, what they've got to do is if your URL where you're sending them through to the lead magnet or wherever you're going to send them to is further down in the description, then they've actually got to click on see more. So that's one click, probably too much that people have to do to get access to the URL to get your free content. What you want to do is you want to give them a neat little button like this. So if you'd like to get access to my 16 reasons why you need to be increasing your consultancy fees like I did when I increased my consultancy fees by 400%, then just click this button on this video and you'll be able to get direct access. Or what about if you like my videos and you like the content and the content's helping you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button inside this video. All these are created inside of YouTube and you can add these to your video too. And these are what you, YouTube call annotations. So I'm going to come away from here now, I'm going to jump into the computer and I'm going to show you how to set up an annotation for yourself so you can implement these into your videos. See you in a second. So now we're inside my computer and you can see my YouTube channel. So let's create an annotation. First of all, we need to choose a, a video. So let's just randomly we'll pick this one. Hi everyone, I'm going to back quick. Just close, um, not close that, but just pause that. And underneath the video, you should see, if you're signed in to your channel, you actually should see these icons. And the fourth icon from the left hand side is annotations. Click on annotations. Might just have to pause the video again. And first of all, what you want to do, predominantly a call to action is at the end of the video. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna place an annotation around about here. So you can see this timeline at the bottom and as the video plays, your timeline will also change as well. Let me just play that. You can actually see that changing. So, pause it, I'm gonna create an annotation here. Um, there's no call to action with inside the video, but just for the purpose of this, I'm actually just gonna place the annotation in the middle here between myself and Nikki. So, the top right hand corner where it says add annotations, not rocket science, click on that. And you can choose from a selection of annotations. So you've got your speech bubble, speech bubble, a note, title. That's not a clickable annotation. That's just putting a title on your video. Spotlight. So example, what a spotlight is. Um, if you've got a button with inside of, um, like a, an icon or an image inside your video that you've already edited into your video, you can actually put a spotlight over that particular image, which I added in previous videos. And then the label, I've never used the label, so I'm not too sure, so I'll not tell you uh, what I think it might be, because I might be totally wrong. <clears throat> so for this example, I'm going to create a note. I'm not going to create a speech bubble, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of those. Personally, I think they're a little cheap. So I'm going to create a note. And this is where you would type your note or whatever it is you want to or whatever the call to action is so for the purpose of this video i'm just going to type in subscribe now 
I'm gonna, the, the text is in white. I'm gonna change that to gray. As you can see, it's, uh, if I just move that, and you can, yeah, that's it. Something else as well. You can actually move the annotations around. So you can have them wherever you want to have them. You obviously want them somewhere where they're gonna stick out. You can change the color of the backdrop. Uh, so I'm actually now gonna turn that to my text to white. I'm gonna make my text bigger. In fact, I'm gonna, if I can, I'm gonna make them a little bit more bigger. Now that's as big as I can go. Wanted to see what this looks like if I just turn that around. Okay, so I've created a subscribe now, which and I'll place it down there because it's a little bit dark in the bottom corner of the video, so it'll stick out a little bit longer. Um, now, what you'll see if I just if I actually don't move around too much and come down to the left or right hand side. So now I need to make that a clickable link. And then once you click on the link icon, then you've got a drop down menu where you can choose if you're going to uh, promote another video with inside your channel, a playlist, another channel, Google uh, Plus profile, a subscribe now button, fundraising project. Now these two, these two are, you'll probably find that they're not actually inside your drop down menu. Merchant account is whether you're um, selling something on a big retail store like Amazon or iTunes and other um, big stores, maybe something like eBay. So that's like merch is a merchant account um, for big retailers. Now associated websites, that's where you can put a link in there, in an annotation to actually send them to your external website, your personal website. So at the minute, you might not have these two bottom two. So I'm going to show you how to do this. But for the sake of, uh, for the purpose of this one, I'm just going to show you how to add a link through to uh, the Subscribe Now channel. So I'm going to choose the Subscribe. Now YouTube's going to ask me to put in there the, um, the link to my channel. So if I just quickly jump over to and find my channel, view channel. And then what I would do is, I will just grab the URL of my channel and then come back into YouTube. Where am I on this tab? Yep. And I'll just paste the, the link in there. And then I'll press, well, it's already saved changes. I'll press apply now. And that's it. Now what you can do is you can see that uh, these subscribe button if i just take that back and just play this video in north of uk, north of UK. Um, today so you can see how the subscribe button comes up and then at the end here it will actually drop down so let me explain what that means today Nikki, there you go has... so if you wanted the subscribe button to last the duration of the video you just stretch that or bring it back that's personally down to your personal preference. Um, so for the purpose of this video, I'm going to actually keep this annotation, I think. But I'm just going to pop it there. And I'll actually just put the spell channel. It's a shame you can't centralize it, but never mind. And I'm just going to move it. You can see that I've just moved on my cursor a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to keep that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to show you how you can get the associated website. So you can actually put a link directly to your website. So what you need to do is, so let's take me back to my video manager. And if you come down to, now I've got to remember this, if you come down to channel, uh, 
advanced. If you go to channel settings and then come down to advanced and then scroll down to advanced and you'll see associated website. So you've got to associate your website with YouTube. So what you need to do is you need to put the URL in that space there that you want to be able to send people to. Once you've put in that details, YouTube then is gonna ask you to verify that you are the owner of that particular website. So it might ask you, well, it will ask you to, to go through a few uh, processes. It might ask you to verify. It might want to put um, a DNS, D DNS uh, coding on your uh, domain name. If they ask that, that's fine. They're not gonna do anything. Um, that's absolutely, that's what I did. So I gave them access to my GoDaddy account and then to verify they put it, they did something to the DNS numbers um, and then that was fine. So it, and then it opened up the associated website and that was it, simple. So that, that then enabled me to be able to come into my one of my videos, go into annotations, just pause this, add an annotation, add a note, put a call to action inside there and add a link, go down and associated websites was there. Put in the website that, you, that you've associated with YouTube and then that annotation will be a direct link straight through to the call to action that you want them to take. So I hope that video has been of interest. Um, let me know. If you've enjoyed these videos, then why not sub subscribe to my YouTube channel too? And I look forward to sending you more awesome content. Speak to you soon.